Good afternoon on Tuesday the 13th of August and it seems that the good weather is going to continue for the final week of the school holidays so I hope that you're able to make the most of it. Our opening prayer. King of King and Lord of Lords, fill the heart of all in authority with the love of you and your ways and with all that is right and life-giving so that together with them, we may be wise and worthy stewards for you here on earth. Amen. Our readings today are Micah chapter 2 and Psalm 89 verses 19 to 37. Don't worry, it'll be all right. As children, I'm sure that we heard words similar to this from our parents and felt comforted by them. We might have felt reassured, but I wonder how our parents were feeling. It's quite probable that they hadn't got a clue what was going on, and even more importantly, what they could do about it. But they said the words as a way of protecting us, stopping us from worrying, even if the reality of the situation was something that we should worry about. But we can't go through life avoiding facing up to the reality of situations we find ourselves in, sometimes difficult situations. I think there comes a tipping point in our teenage years when we become young adults and we want to know what is happening even if it is difficult. It doesn't mean that as adults we actually wouldn't on occasions like to hear those words, don't worry, it'll be all right. We all do because we all find ourselves in difficulties at times which we struggle to know how things are going to sort themselves out. And we only need to look at the Israelites in today's reading from Micah. They are quite happy to be given false assurances about their situation. They don't want to take any notice of the truth of God's messages to them because they find this truth too difficult to handle. The false prophets who were giving them the assurances actually did the people no favours whatsoever. If nothing else, they probably merely added to the confusion of what the Israelites should believe. Which is why I'm pleased that John Bunyan's book, Pilgrim's Progress, is considered to be a classic of English literature. John Bunyan was a person of true godly insight and he used the book, effectively a novel, but a novel with a message, to speak about the reality of our spiritual journey. Now he didn't pull any punches and he clearly pointed out human weaknesses and the difficulties that this would create for us, particularly in our relationship with God and when we move away from God. Perhaps it was because it is a novel, people found the message easier to accept as opposed to the message which the prophet Micah was given. I certainly hope that people didn't just think that Pilgrim's Progress was a story which could be discounted because its message is a most important one for everyone's spiritual journey. And the reason that I picked up on John Bunyan is that today is the day when we give thanks for his life. God of peace, who called your servant John Bunyan, 
to be valuable for the truth, grant that as strangers and pilgrims we may at last rejoice with all Christian people in your heavenly city, through Jesus Christ your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. And our prayer points for today. Let's pray about the economic situation in this country and all around the world. Pray for people who are struggling with the impact of disaster, whether it's because of a force of nature, such as the floods in Pakistan, or because of war raging around them. And we need to continue to pray for integrity and truth in public life. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I hope that you enjoy the remainder of today and our blessing. May God's light guide you, God's hand support you, and God's love surround you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you today and remain with you forevermore.